If you get a little kiss and something happens to you, and after you get that little kiss, you're like, ooh, uh, you know, maybe I want a little more of that. Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. There is a specific handgun that I have had my eyes on for years. I was obsessed. It reached a point where it was no longer healthy for me to live my life without owning this specific handgun. It reminds me back in the dating years. You, you, you had your eye on a, on a hottie. You thought about the hottie. You were wondering what it would be like to be with this certain hottie. And then all of a sudden you find somebody else. And all of a sudden the hottie is not as important in your life anymore. Then she dumps her man. She likes you all of a sudden. And you're like, I'm good. I'm good where I'm at. Thanks. Because I found something better. And that's how I feel with this handgun. I wanted it so much that I, that I sold off other firearms and compiled a bunch of money so that when I found the perfect deal and when it was finally released, that I would be prepared to buy it. But there was an issue. Once I bought it, I had to send it off to Cajun Gunworks to get the slide mill because it does not come optic ready, which is confusing to me considering that it is made by Dan Wesson. Do you know what it is? I was one of the first to get my eyes on the DWX models. It was many years ago at SHOT Show. And then I stayed up with it and found out that COVID put them behind more than other manufacturers. Whether it's getting the parts, getting the labor, putting it all together. But lo and behold, they released the DWX both with the compact model and the full-size five-inch barrel model. And I said, I have to have that because it is a cross between a CZ-75 and a Dan Wesson 1911 that is that has a bushingless barrel and looks and performs, because I did shoot it at TriggerCon, it performs wonderfully. And I thought, that is the gun. That is the gun that I'm going to call mine. That is the gun that I'm going to love and hold and be with it through sickness and health for better or for worse and it was going to be great the problem is i found other guns that fit that need and that desire i got the springfield prodigy this thing is amazing for far less money now you look at the dan wesson you're looking at two grand is it overly expensive it's certainly expensive but i wouldn't say it's overly expensive compared to other handguns of the same nature this is well under two grand. The Bull Armory Tech four and a quarter, well under two grand. Love this handgun as well. They both come optic ready. Okay, the Prodigy depends what model you get, but mine mine comes optic ready, and this comes optic ready out of the case. And so then I'm thinking, if I get the Dan Wesson DWX that I'm going to love so much. I'm going to have to take the slide off, send it off to Cajun Gunworks, get it milled, sit back and wait for it to come back, purchase a three to $500 optic, put it on there, and then, and then I would have the perfect gun. Why didn't Dan Wesson release that gun optic ready out of the gate? It just seems in today's world that that would be the best course of action for the DWX, but they didn't do that. So you have to do that on your own. In the midst of thinking about this, when I still wanted the DWX, I was pretty content with the two that I just showed you, the Prodigy and the TAC four and a quarter. I thought, I already have a CZ Shadow 2. This thing is amazing. Now, why not just get this slide cut for a optic it can easily be done i could have it done locally i could send it off to cajun gunworks and have it done for a couple hundred dollars that single action trigger pull right around three pounds why not just go that route i also th thought about the tanfolio defiance stock master that i have that would be a good one too why do you want optic ready so bad why are you obsessed with having your handguns optic ready well i'm not obsessed with having my handguns optic ready but a gun of this nature a double stack nine millimeter 1911 or the dan wesson dwx case a, a cross between a cz 75 and 1911 it just is fitting and once you catch the optic bug it's hard to get away from it it's almost like you know you don't you don't like that girl 
but then all of a sudden you find yourself, you get a little kiss and something happens to you. And after you get that little kiss, you're like, ooh, uh, you know, maybe I want a little more of that. And that's how I feel with optic ready handguns. Would I carry a handgun with an optic on it? I don't think so. I haven't yet and I have no plans on doing that. But a DWX should be optic ready. Now I keep hearing that Dan Weston's going to eventually make one optic ready. I don't know that it would be too much to ask to have that suited for an optic right now. Like You are Dan Weston. And being that you were set back because of COVID and this and that, but I will tell you what, after studying the websites and watching them on Gunbroker and others that were for sale and then all, all of a sudden gone, out of stock, people are buying those up. And I have to believe the majority are putting optics on there and paying an additional amount of money and waiting the time to get those back milled for an optic. So that's where I'm at. I, I wanted it, but now I'm just sitting back. If the opportunity arises where the DWX is available, optic ready, and I can get it for a good price, I'm going to be all over it, but I'm not chasing after it anymore. And I'm sure there are certain firearms that you feel the same way about that was once so attractive, you had to have it. Then all of a sudden you say, I don't want it anymore because I got this. I thought I wanted that, but now this is suiting that need. I'll go for something else, and that's where I'm at right now. Let me know what you think. Are you hot for the Dan Wesson DWX, or do you feel that it's overpriced, it's not optic ready, and it's not where it needs to be for you to spend your hard-earned money? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.